got my can of Coke. Woohoo! But yeah. Oh wait. Oh wait, it's Pepsi. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, I thought I had Coke a minute ago. Who's been stealing my Cokes? Ah oh, yes, there's my Cokes. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my humble domain. My fortress of solitude. Or should I just say my prison cell? By the way, do you like my Snuggie right now? You know? It's so nice and fluffy. I got, uh, I think that's bacon, eggs, you know, because I enjoy food. So if you do feel that I'm edible right now, I would suggest that you close your mouths because I think it's disgusting that you would think of me in that way, that I'm edible. Right? Close them. Now open them again. Yeah! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Well, it looks like we have more drama for today. So yes, welcome to yet another Rage Reacts video. And today we're looking at a video by Asmongold called Twitch is a fucking circus. Tell me something I don't know. From time to time I watch Asmongold's videos. I wouldn't say he's my favorite or anything like that. I just watch out of curiosity most of the time. Um, if I, I think I've seen something about, about this whole drama. I think it's about where like, so Asmund Gold, if you don't know, Asmund Gold, he had a really bad take. And of course, he had some backlash for it. And he had to apologize by cleaning his room and everything has been forgiven, it seems, you know? So all you have to do is clean shit and then you're off scot-free. So this is similar to like the whole PewDiePie, PUBG and YouTube thing, which happened years ago. Um, it's happening with Asmund Gold now. And yeah, a lot of people are not happy with Asmund Gold because they blame him for their monetization taking a hit with the whole ad situation and everything. Yep, it's the adpocalypse, baby. So in this video, right, apparently people like Hassan and Frogan and whoever else are blaming him. And to be honest, I'm I, I'm very like half and half when it comes to Asmongold. I'm like, I disagree with him on some things. I, I agree with him on some others. But when it comes to people like Hassan, Frogan and all that, yeah, they're pieces of shit. And the reasons I do dislike them is because they're insufferable and they like to lie and live in their own world where everyone else is fucking wrong if they don't agree with them, like, you know, sort of like a cult-like mentality. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Come on, and let's just get this over and done with. Oh, there's somebody, I saw this today. This was very cute. Central Committee, uh, this is Death Threat Andy here, talking about how everybody should be getting mad at me for ruining everybody's bag. This is where, this is how Twitch has been fucked. Like, it's important that people understand that this is the guy who's yeah. the enemy of the platform. This is Asmund Gold and Destiny. Oh. And everybody needs to turn against every, him, them for <laughs> ruining the bag. Everybody knows that Hassan hasn't broken the fucking rules, but there's... What? Really now? Really? See, I think I somewhat remember this guy. Yeah, he's talking out of his ass, you know. He's like... He's like a part of that group, of course, like, you know, with Hassan Nola, where they're all, they're probably all buddy-buddy. And he's just being all like, oh, but our enemies, people like Asmund Gold and Destiny, you know, people who have different opinions from us. You know, we have to go against them. They're the enemy, right? But yeah, people like this are just so fucking deranged, man. They just are. And they seem so untrustworthy. I wouldn't trust these people as far as I could throw them. Just like, already, like 25 seconds in, and I'm giving my fucking opinion. <laughs> But yeah, that's, that's just it. These people, you know, like Central Committee, the people they don't like are just evil. They're the evil of the world. They need, they need to be like, you know, they need to be taken out and stuff like that, you know? They need to be eliminated from this world. As you know, as you'll know what I'm talking about as soon as we get into the video because I have heard about this whole thing uh, with like, by, <laughs> by just sort of somewhat forgot about it. Spamming but it's coming back to me. You did, though. What about you? You got a three-day suspension for putting a hit out on somebody, making a yeah. difference. Context. In the last 48 hours, a complete revisionism of who caused the Twitch apocalypse has started, with people now blaming the biggest political streamer of the platform, Asmongold. Casey Tron. Oh, wow. Casey Tron. That's all I have to say about that. She's just as delusional as the rest of them, to be honest. The Twitch adpocalypse situation is a result of years of preferential treatment and selective moderation reaching a boiling point in the community. Twitch are the ones who set the tone and rules for the website and in turn are the ones responsible for this happening. To be honest, there is a, you know, in my opinion, there is a, 
a lot of favoritism when it comes to Twitch and Twitch streamers, like, you know, certain ones. I do feel that's the case because we all know there's been people who've, be, who've done, uh, who've broken the rules, similar rules to others, but those others get, you know, lighter sentences, if you know what I mean. Like, the one person could get suspended for 30 days and the other person could get suspended for a few days or even a few hours. You know, we have, we have seen that happen, you know. Twitch is very fucking, it's very shitty that it does that. I mean, it's no surprise because I feel like this has been going on for years, to be honest. I just feel something is going on. It is. I mean, and if they're going to, you know, go ahead and tell us that, oh, nothing's happening, guys. It's just, you know, it's just a coincidence. That's fucking bollocks. That's bollocks. They fucking know. I'm, I'm telling you, man. I have always thought this about Twitch. There was always someone getting, like, better treatment than others. Funny that this loser is saying this because I'm pretty sure the preferential treatment and selective moderation has always been in favor of these incels and their fans whom have been terrorizing marginalized communities on Twitch for years. Twitch. But of course she would say that because they probably say that about each other. That That is what I think as well, you know? There's going to be people on both sides thinking the other side is getting better treatment. But when it comes down to it, we, we all, a majority of people on Twitch know who's actually getting that treatment. We all know who's getting that sort of treatment. I mean, come on. Partner Katitron has in fact been one of the main drivers fueling the Twitter mob against Asmon. While also having her entire stream report Asmon for his Palestine take. While we do appreciate this Twitch partner dissecting with so much detail Asmon's infractions, we might also want to check what Katitron <laughs> said in the past. Casey Tron even liked a tweet that is accusing me of killing my mom. Like, I'll say it. I don't care if that makes me a bad person. Okay. Still miles above of Asmongold. Miles above Asmongold. All right. Let's now check what Twitch partner Casey Tron said about Central Committee three-day ban after his death threat. Like, holy shit, guys. If you live in Florida, I have an opportunity for you. If you want to earn $100,000, let me know. Um... Any bad thing said towards Destiny, I promise you, he deserves. So yeah, it does not surprise me with these people. Or shall I say these snakes? These snakes who like to slither around their words. That's what they love to do, you know? And of course they do it because they're streaming and they want to watch what they're saying. But we all know what they're trying to insinuate, you know? It's, it's blatantly obvious. And of course, if you did say, you know, something, they'd probably go, No, no, I wasn't saying that. I, I, you're just putting words in my mouth. And when it comes to Casey Tron, what she was saying that, um, you know, when Asmund Gold had that bad take, she was all over that shit. All over it. But if, she, if the shoe was on the other foot... Wait, do you hear that? That's right, nothing. There'll be fucking crickets from her. You know what I mean? These people... It's, <laughs> to me, it's all about... Hip, you're hypocritical, like. They're saying that, oh, this person's bad for doing things like this, but they've done and said bad things in the past as well. And they don't want to bring them up. Of course they fucking don't. Why would they want to? Huh? It's funny, that, isn't it? Rules for thee, but not for me, am I right? And just before we continue this video, it does say that their Twitch partner central committee has been banned. Which, rightfully so, you know, for that comment, he should have been. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> Casey Tron for your invaluable input. Let's move to another Twitch partner calling out Asman, Mr. Gremlo. Guy who said it was on site at TwitchCon if he saw Destiny. I dealt with kids like this all the time at high school. What if I want the satisfaction? All I'm saying is on site. I'd like him to come to TwitchCon and we'll see what happens. What is this here? Asmon gets called. See what I mean? That's, that's suspicious as fuck, dude. Why would you say something like that? Hmm? Just saying, that's, that's a weird thing to say. A cracker, wow. And I think that they've also defended a number of double standards and preferential treatment. Like, for example, like not getting banned <laughs> for calling people crackers. The, like, the death threat thing only being like a two or a three day ban. You're still mad about that. That's a you problem. Twitch doesn't really care about it, cracker. Oh, so he's fine saying that, is he? Is this supposed to be coming from, you know, the crowd that's all about like, you know, you know, being tolerable and just... You know, we, we don't we don't want anyone offended around here. We don't want things like, you know, anything violent or whatever. And then you say that. And, you know, the people who don't like putting others in groups and we can all just be on an equal playing field. I bet these are the type of people who are saying this. 
But oh, but now he's saying that. Oh, you know that's that's pretty hateful there. Hmm. Yeah, strange. It's, it's almost like the people like this are just, you know, hiding behind a mask because they're fake as fuck. Yeah. Hmm. All of these Twitch partners have been behaving impeccably. And now on to the main boss. I'll let Ludwig introduce it, as it was the singular mention of this mythical creature in his comprehensive video. Uh, uh, Hassan is blaming Asmongold for the Edpocalypse. I can see why a lot of people are extremely critical of Ludwig in this video. And I think that it's very fair for people to say that Ludwig kind of brushed over the entire... It's kind of like the elephant in the room. Hassan clearly is like one of the biggest... 90% of the examples that are being used are him. Oh my god, well Hezbollah is a terrorist organization. Dog, if Hezbollah is a terrorist organization, America is the top terrorist organization. Which it is, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, he is a pretty brilliant uh, a person. You might not agree with his methods. Hezbollah is a is a paramilitary organization. Do we like them or no? I don't have an issue with them, let's just say. But they are a terrorist organization. Like, they're de designated. Oh, they're, they are designated by the American state okay. as a terrorist organization. I do not like them then. Oh, you want to see a Houthi musical? Sure. Are, no, you, the, are the, you being serious? I know they're singing, but I'm seeing just guns and shit. This isn't a music video, Hassan. They start overtaking the ship. We're going to take over your ship. You cannot fucking use this trade route anymore. Because they say it. They're like, listen. And this guy, unironically. Do you know, like, it's very um, telling, though, that Hassan seems to push the line a lot. And usually when someone, you know, keeps on pushing the line and pushing it and pushing it and pushing it and doesn't care, there's usually a reason for that. That's why I think, you know, people are saying that, you know, Hassan, people like Hassan are getting criticism, uh, uh, criticism, uh, preferential treatment. Because it's a bit, eh, a bit suspicious. You know what I mean? They put a terrorist propaganda music video on and then left the room. Does he watch, does he know what One Piece is? Is um, it Lofi? Yeah, he said he's, he's been watching it since he was a kid. The whole way! Yes. Oh my God, dude. We we think the Houthis on Allah is doing uh, what Luffy would do. Like, am I? Cr I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Yeah, I feel you, Asman. I feel you. That's what I feel like sometimes. It's just how how does all this fucking happen? You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't surprise me in the slightest from from these people. You know? Because, like I said, when when they're getting criticized, there's they don't want to say much on it, but when someone else has done done something wrong, which they have, they hate, they fucking they pounce on it. You know what I mean? And they go on and on and on. That's what they do. But I do think Twitch needs to fix a lot of their shit because you do get people like this who feel that they can get away with this. And of course, if you start like you know, you know, having more and more people with this preferential treatment, because I know we all know it, it's fucking there. It can't be denied. There's too much fucking evidence for it to be denied. Twitch needs to fix its shit, man, but I, I don't think it's going to happen. Ever, to be honest. I have no confidence in Twitch. There was also a joke how people were going like, Oh, Asmund Gold cleaned one of his rooms, and this happened. So imagine what would happen if he had a full house clean. If Asmund Gold did that. Oh, wow. The world would just, I think, just implode. I think it would. The world would be too shocked that Asmund Gold cleaned everything. The world couldn't even comprehend it. You know? Astronauts up in space, if they saw it, they'd be like, there's no way. There's no way in hell that this is happening right now. I could die happy because of this. So Asman Gold, do us all a service and clean the whole of your fucking house. <laughs> clean it all, my dude, clean it all. Do you know, watching these videos, I feel like I'm actually going a bit crazy. <laughs> because I'm like, I have these days where I'm just like sitting down or just playing on, playing on a game and just chilling. And I'm just like, oh, the world is all good right now. And then I come across something online and I'm just like, and it's brought me back down. <laughs> oh, why are things just getting worse and worse? That's my thoughts on it though. I mean, what are, you, what are your guys' thoughts on it? I mean, do you agree with Asmongol? Do you agree with Asan and his uh, band of buddies? Or do you just don't give a shit? <laughs> but if you did not give a shit, then why are you watching this video? Why? Hmm, that'd be a bit strange if you were. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Of course, uh, remember to hit that like button, subscribe. The original video will be down below. And I shall see all of you in the next video. And I'm out.
and I'm peace. Yeah.